Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez. And let me tell you, rodeo season is upon us in Houston, and you cannot talk rodeo without talking barbecue. So I'm in a long line for one of the best barbecue joints in the Houston area, Truth Barbecue. Let me tell you, I'm not going to stay here because I know a secret way in. Let's go over there. Excited. I'm going to go through the pit room, baby. Oh, no. Leonard Botello is here. He's actually the owner, one of the pit masters here. Truth Barbecue, you caught me red-handed. <laughs> but the line is out the door for a reason, right? Yeah, we'll stay here in the back. You'll be fine. All right, but can I, can I actually look in one of these pits yeah. before we go to the line? Which one? They're all loaded down, so. Oh, my god. So these went on this morning. Um, these are going to be cooking throughout the day until the middle of the night, and then we rest down in the middle of the night, be ready for service tomorrow. Usually these biscuits go for about 16 to 18 hours. Yeah. All right, but there's some food I can eat today, right? Of course, yeah. All right, let's go check out this line. <laughs> All right, I've broken away from Leonard, and now I'm in the line. Ooh, what you got here, yeah. Steven? Got a number one meat right here. This is going to be our beef brisket. Ooh, not you squeezing out the juices yeah, on absolutely. it. Absolutely. You got to rehydrate that brisket, you know? It gets thirsty, too. So we got to make sure we get that towel on top. Oh no, you're making me hungry. All right, what do I need on my plate? Because I'm going to put an order in with Leonard. Listen, when it's Texas barbecue, there's so many items that are great. But the standards, we call it the Texas Trinity. You got to get the brisket, you got to get the sausage, you got to get the pork ribs. Oh my God, Leonard, what is this, baby? So we pulled some strings so you didn't have to wait too long. But I brought all of my favorites. Your favorites. So all right, I mean, you he owns it. So. Listen, I've been to your Brenham location. I had a spectacular time there. Yeah. The customer service there is here too. Very, very much feels like family. Once you feel at home. You yeah. Know? Like, like you've already been here before, you know? Yeah. 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 All right, what am I looking at? What's, what are your so, favorites here? Um, side to side, in the back, we got our pepper jack sausage. We got some patty brisket underneath there. We got some uh, pork spare ribs, uh, tater tot casserole. Uh, kale Caesar salad, which is semi-new to help cut all the richness of the meat. Somebody told me I needed to get the kale uh, Caesar. I really enjoy it. Uh, house-made pickles, house-made onions. Martin's potato bread is the only thing that we do not make in house because Martin's is my favorite bread. Uh, and it's not too heavy and it complements me very well. And then normally, this is on Saturdays, this fried chicken, but I pulled some extra strings for you today. So the fried chicken is one of my favorites because... I've never had the fried chicken. I've had the, the beef ribs, yeah. which is also only on Saturdays. So I love, what I like about barbecue, like there's three things that I really, really love. Talk uh, to me. Barbecue, like a really, really good cheeseburger and fried chicken. I like the simple things that you're kind of like wild by. Those are American things. Yeah. American. So this fried chicken is my favorite. All the... Uh, the brine that we use for our pickles. Mm -hmm. When it's all done with pickles, we put the chicken in there for 12 hours. So it keeps it nice and span moist. It gives it a little bit extra flavor in the meat. All right, you guys have an event happening on Saturday. Yeah, so we teamed up with Garden and Gun. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome event, rodeo smoke show. So we have a bunch of vendors coming out. You know, we're gonna barricade the parking lot. Uh, we got 500 tickets for sale. So we're expecting a lot of people. There's going to be a band, you know, good drinks pouring, plus barbecue. So if you're coming in town for the rodeo, we want to treat you properly, get you fed with some good barbecue, then go over to the cook-off, go to the concerts, go to the rodeo, and enjoy yourself. But the beautiful thing about Truth Barbecue is that you don't have to wait once a year for Houston rodeo season. You can come any day of the week. Yeah. Mm. Baby! Those are my favorites. Mm. Hey. You see how smooth that bone is? Mm. Oh my god. So pork ribs, I would say, is probably one of the most difficult things to cook. Because by Texas standard, like it has to be able to pull off the bone while leaving some meat on there. Mm. It can't just fall off the bone. So that window for them for to be overcooked to undercooked is like five minutes. Uh, and surprisingly, the guy that cooked those ribs uh, has been cooking ribs for only two weeks now. And he's been doing a really awesome job. But we have an awesome team, everybody teaching each other, sharing the knowledge and stuff like that. And we all work together. Teamwork makes the dream work, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you definitely feel that when you get here. Yeah. People were recommending things left and right. 
and I'm glad you came with your favorites because I would have had a hard time deciding. The only thing that I forgot to put on here is the smoked turkey, which would be the second thing that I eat the most. Uh, a lot of people think the turkey's super dry. This one is very, very moist and very flavorful, and it's like one of our all-time favorites. Um, sauces, we got our traditional, you know, Central Texas style tomato-based barbecue sauce. Okay. This one is actually my favorite. It's a Carolina style mustard-based sauce. I like this kind of like with pretty much anything, um, especially poultry items. Especially the poultry items. So I'm gonna have fried chicken now. Yeah. I'm excited. Ready for this crunch. That one's my favorite. This is your favorite for me. All right, I got a lot of eating to do. And you guys are also partnering with Blade and Bow. Yep. Blade and Bow. Uh, so I got the opportunity to try their awesome cocktails that they're going to be doing for the event. But we will also be running that cocktail for the entire time of the rodeo. And I assume it'll stay on the menu after that because it's fantastic. We got to get you one. It's so good, okay. uh, especially with the Texas heat. All right, hold up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into this food, and when we come back, I'm gonna dive into uh, whatever cocktail you're talking about with Blade and Bone. Jack, thank you. Start eating. Yeah. And I know um, some mouths are watering behind the camera, so we'll be right back. All right, it's time to wash all of that delicious barbecue down. Listen, I already licked my fingers, washed my face with some good whiskey, baby, because you can't talk rodeo, barbecue, or anything like that than with whiskey. And I've got Jack Souter here behind Blade and Bow, one of the best whiskeys out of Kentucky, you're saying? Uh, that's my opinion. That's okay, a lot of okay. I'm gonna opinions, find but... out today. I haven't had any. Well, we'll change that today. Okay. So yeah, Blade and Bow is a 91 proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. 91 proof, is 91 that normal? Proof. Uh, it's on the higher side, but it as far as bourbon hot. goes, uh, you know, that's kind of right in there. It's not too high, smooth flavor profile. It's not going to give you a bunch of heat. This is a blend of some very old historic liquid from the Skitza Weller Distillery in mm -hmm. Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, and then mingled with some younger bourbons from across Kentucky. So the historic liquid is around 22, 23 years old. Uh, and then the younger bourbons are, you know, 8, 12, and then nothing younger than 6 years. So Blade and Bow, that's an interesting name. What's that about? So Blade and Bow um, is all around the key. So the we key. have these keys on every bottle. Mm -hmm. They're labeled one through five. And if you collect all five keys, we'll give you a free tour and tasting at the distillery and a mint julep cup with your name engraved on it. Oh, I got some drinking to do. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's what you're telling me is I got drinking to do. The keys represent the five keys of creating great bourbon. So you mm. have grains, yeast, fermentation, distillation, and aging. And the saying is, you get all five of those things right, you're always going to have a good one. Okay, so. all right, cheers to the five keys. Great smell. Yeah, so all the aromatics come from that younger whiskey, right? So that's why the, that's important to incorporate that. You like it? I love it. Okay. That's good. This yeah, is perfect. quality. So I assume this is good in an old fashioned. It is great in an old fashioned, but it's also great in new fashion, which is actually the cocktail that I'm going to make for you today. So new, the new fashion. fashion. Yeah. So it's kind of a play on the old fashioned. Um, so instead of simple syrup and sugar, yeah. we use an elderflower liqueur, which brings out the floral notes in the bourbon and it makes it really refreshing and light and nice to drink. There you go. Your new favorite drink, a new fashion. My new fashion, my new favorite cocktail. Yeah, We're going to find out today. Cheers. Let's see. Oh, that's refreshing. Yeah. This is dangerous. I know, I'm glad you enjoy it. It's a perfect bourbon drink for when it gets hot in Houston. Yes. Right, and you need to cool off with a refreshing bourbon cocktail. And you want to kick a few more back than normal. Yeah. Like an, an old fashioned, I, I take my time with it. This one is going to be gone by the time we get back from commercial break. Jack, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank All you. All right, y'all already know, Blade & Bow, go collect them five keys. And it goes great with the barbecue here at Truth. Cheers, we're going to be right back getting some boots. Wait. We've got every episode of the Nightcap and we can go for hours. Download the Fox Local app on any of the following smart TV platforms and get in on the fun.
Welcome back to the Nightcap. As you know, we've been getting rodeo ready, baby. I had some great barbecue at Truth Barbecue, and then I had some delicious whiskey from Blade and Bow. But you know what? I need to get rodeo ready, okay? I thought this fit looked kind of good, but these boots, they ain't the right ones. I have to come to one of the best in the business, Lou Casey. Let's see what they got. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Welcome in. It is Thank great you. To see nice to see you. Absolutely. Well, I hear you guys are spending some time with me today. Yes. We're going to have a full boot shopping experience. I'm Carolina. Who are you? David Peterson. I'm one of the sales managers here at McCasey. Perfect. All right. So I'm trying to get rodeo ready. All right. All right. I got this fit, but I need the right cowboy you boots. You are missing the right cowboy boots. Yes. I'll tell you that. Well, we actually have a full selection this year for Rodeo Ready. We're going to fit you from head to toe, but we've got to start with the boots. That's yes. the most important yes. part. Maybe match the belt, but we'll get to that. Oh. All right. So this is going to be our Rodeo Ready collection that we wow. have. Color of the season is really going to be green. We're seeing it from the red carpet all the way to Rodeo. It is everywhere, and we can't get enough of it. This year, we actually have two colors that are going to be exclusive to the Rodeo. Can't get them anywhere else. Otherwise, I'd probably already be sold out of them. All right. These are gorgeous boots, though. Okay, Absolutely. can I, are these available here in store or? Some of these are available in store. Okay. The two right here, these are not. These are going to be our rodeo exclusives this year. We've got a couple of exclusives at our rodeo events, at our all, all of our other events if you're not familiar with them. But these two are new. You can only find these at the rodeo. But this would like totally go with my fit, it David. It would go great. I tell you what though, we can get you sized, make sure we've got the right fit, and then hopefully I can see you at the booth. How's that sound? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Woo, baby. These are so gorgeous. Well, I've got good news for you. We Talk have to a me. size for you. Let's get them on. How'd you know? You just sized me up by looking at me? What can I say? That's I'm good crazy, at my job. David. That's the customer service here at Lou Casey. So, there are a couple of things that we're looking for in a good fit, especially if it's your first pair of boots. Mm -hmm. Three things that are the most important. We want to make sure it's a snug feeling, it's not squeezing you anywhere, kind of like a firm handshake. That's what it feels like. You're golden. It then, feels good. Perfect. You want to make sure that you can have a little bit of wiggle room in your toes. Don't want that box compressed because that's a part of the boot that's not going to stretch. So that yeah. doesn't work. We've got to size up. I'm wiggling the toes. You can't see it, but I'm doing it. Perfect. And then the part that's a little strange and you've got to get used to if it's your first pair is your heel is actually going to lift up a little bit. A quarter right. to a half inch when you're walking. That is normal. Gets better with time. Oh, yeah. You feel like, like this. Like that. Oh, that's funky. Doesn't mean it's too big. You do want a no, little bit of No, because then lift. it's snug on the foot. Absolutely. It's just the, the heel. Yes. Feel a little. All right, so what do I do? I do a little runway move for you, Jake. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. All right, so cowboy boots, for those who are not familiar, are expensive. They are. Why are they so expensive? Well, when it comes to a pair of Lacasey boots, there is a lot of craftsmanship, art, and labor that really goes into a product like mm -hmm. that. We're a company, we've been around for 140 years, and with that, there's just a lot of techniques that are crafted with time. And when you're looking at a pair of boots like this, this is something you're going to pass on to a daughter, a son, whoever it is. They're going to wear that boot with pride, and that boot's going to last them for that long. But when it comes to our boots, it's a, wear, it's a form of art. You're wearing art on your feet. And it comes with that upfront cost, which then pays off with those generations. Yeah, absolutely. If the, if the, if the boots are going to last two, three generations, that's a return on investment. Absolutely. Hello. Yeah. All right. So um, now you know my size. And now yeah. at the rodeo, I can get the green ones. You can. You can get the green ones. If you're feeling up for it, too, we've got a couple of rodeo t-shirts that will be floating around. Now, they are limited. They're only going to be at the booth and then at our Houston stores, which there's currently four of them. We've got Sugarland, Baybrook, The Woodlands, and then yours truly right here in Island Village. Oh, I love it. All right. You already know. If you want to get new boot goofing, you better go to Lou Casey. <laughs> I feel rodeo ready already. <laughs> I uh, came dressed uh, for the part. So. I love it. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, I'm actually going to go find some hats because uh, a fit ain't complete without the boots and the hat. Is this the one? Yeah. All right, listen, I am here trying on some hats at Monkeys of Houston because they have a pop-up with Monarca Fashion Boutique. And I am here with the owner, Rosie Zavala. Yeah. And you're giving me too many options, sister. Too many options. They yeah. are so good. I mean, come on. Tell me this doesn't look good. Wait till you see this yellow one. Let me try the yellow one. So, I'm getting ready for the rodeo. For the rodeo. Yeah, here we have a lot of options. Different colors, different styles, different shapes. So, and the most important thing, oh, Oof. this hat is waterproof. So if you go to the rodeo, don't worry, you don't need umbrella. Just wear your hat and, <laughs> girl, you are ready. I'm ready to rodeo, that's right. <laughs> 
And of course, we're at Monkeys of Houston. They have wonderful rodeo chic items, and I got a little fringe going on myself. Yeah. All right, but I need to find the perfect hat. And you brand them too. You yeah. add all of the extra accessories, accessories and stuff. Accessories, and also I can draw different things with this special pencil. So I can do everything for you. It's depend on your style. You can add more feathers, accessories, headbands, and then. The options are endless. Yeah. Oh man, all right. I have a lot of decisions to mm -hmm. make. All right, and me and also, uh, also all these hats, we put a special wire around your hat. For example, this one is flat, right? But we put a special wire so you can band it by yourself. So basically you have two hats in one, cowboy or just flat, and you can put it back. So a lot of options for you. Okay, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Producer Anna's already back there shopping. I got shopping to do here at Monkeys of Houston. I've already got some things uh, put away and I got a hat to pick out. Yeah. All right, Rosie and I are gonna get to work. All right, uh, coming up next, I'm gonna be going to a special diamond shop because I gotta accessorize all this on top of the hat, the boots, the barbecue, and the whiskey. Y'all stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the nightcap. All right, I've done it all. I've gotten the barbecue, I've done the whiskey, I've tried on the boots and the hats, but you have to top off a proper fit with the right rodeo bling. So I came to one of the trusted places in Houston, Cheftel Diamonds, and of course, CEO Danny's here in the building. Actually, I'm in your building. That's Last right. time you were in studio. Yeah, we switched places. Yeah, all right, you've got it all laid out. Yeah. So, How did this become like the rodeo stone, the Western stone? If you think about just the American West, right? You had the westward expansion and of course the Native Americans who were there. Mm -hmm. And as these two cultures mixed, you know, the Westerners really appreciated the craftsmanship. It was, it was jewelry that they could wear. It was rugged. It, it held up while they were riding horses and doing their work. And, you know, of course the women would wear these while they were working because they weren't sitting around. Um, so it, it, and it stood the test of time. Um, and of course, to the Native Americans, turquoise and these designs have significance. You know, it's not just they found a pretty rock and threw it in jewelry. It had spiritual significance. It, it was a stone that they felt was protecting them during battle. And it was, uh, you know, it, it was a powerful stone. It was a healing stone. Wow. And, um, and you've got it all here. Yeah, we got it all. Okay, so what, what am I looking at? Obviously the belt buckles. So belt buckles, these are a little more modern. Um, you know, the, the turquoise is brighter. This has an eagle on the front, high polished silver. Uh, all these are, are natural, you know, authentic turquoise. Um, yeah, so, so belt buckles. This one is cool. This is one of my favorite pieces. So this is, this is for a hat. This is a hat band. I'm so happy you didn't say it was a belt because, no. baby, <laughs> like in what world? Right? <laughs> so a hat. Okay, it's that makes sense. Band. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces. And these are hard to find. Bangles. You know, of course, you got the squash blossom necklaces. This one is my favorite. This is a that is gorgeous. Right. So this is a Zuni piece. This is this is super unique because typically you have this, you know, this theme, this design. And this is just something that I've never really seen before. And again, Zuni, they were famous for their inlay. Uh, the coral is actually not native to their region, but since they did a lot of trade on the coast of California, uh, they use this material and incorporated it into their designs. So, wow. you know, when you see this coral, that's, that's an indication that that was material that they've traded. And uh, it's just some cool history to it. I love it. And then the, how do you, what kind of tie? Be, be, bolo. Bolo tie. Yeah, so I got a little oh, bolo. Oh, you got here, a nice right? one on yourself. So today was Western day, so I figured I'd throw on a bolo. With Hell my, yeah, you know. you're rodeo ready. That's right. All right, so you guys have it all from the rings, the earrings, even the Texas the rings. The Texas rings, so these we made here, these are our designs. Um, I have a couple that I throw on every now and again. Ooh, what you bringing over here now? So another <gasps> little custom set of, uh, Texas jewelry here. We've got the Longhorn. Oh, that's right? gorgeous. So, you know, lightweight. Nice charms. All right, what would you add to this fit? How would you complete it? Oh, okay, so we've got something for you. We have birds. Since you got the flowers, we have uh, birds. 
Well, it's not just birds, these are animals, right? So they've got birds, you got turtles, you got foxes, you got all kinds of Native American themes going on here. Wait, I've never seen anything like Isn't this. Cool? This is gorgeous. All genuine stones, all, you know, natural. All right, hold on, let me, mm. Here. Does it work, does it work? Oh yeah. Jake, is that a yay or a nay? Yeah. That's perfect. All Sold. right, that's it. All right. So am I rodeo ready? You are rodeo ready. Cool. Oh, perfect. All right. You already know if you want some wonderful Western pieces where they know their history, Chaftel Diamonds. Make it. All right. Cheers to you. We'll see you guys next time. You better rodeo. Missed out on the nightcap? Well, head on over to our YouTube page and catch up with Carolina. You can watch full episodes anytime you want. And don't forget to share it with your friends because we got to keep the conversation flowing. If you're confident in yourself, who can stop us? Ding dong, titties. We're not looking to hurt the sisters. Gotcha. But you know, we can get men pretty big. Why do I look disgusting? No. Also, fellas, the toy is not your enemy, it's your teammate. Tag it in. Join us weeknights on Fox 26 at 11.30 and anytime on Fox Soul.